the thickness of the suit, the balance of the bike, the drink in their bottle. Team Sky have turned marginal gains into outright success. It's all part of the master plan of their man at the top, team principal Sir Dave Brailsford. As performance director for Great Britain's imperious Olympic cycling campaign in 2008, Brailsford looked to transfer that dominance to the pro circuit when Team Sky was formed a year later. And he's already surpassed his own expectations, turning a goal of one Tour de France winner in five years into a reality of two in four. You know, you look back and think, wow, we were pretty naive when we started out, really, but, but we were ambitious and we, we, we worked um, with a great bunch of people at British Cycling. And it seemed to us that when, once the moment came where it was enough riders, a critical mass of riders, British riders who were good enough to perform at the highest level, once we had that, then that was the time to put a professional team on top. And of course, we had this fantastic goal when we started out of wanting to try and get the first British rider to win the Tour de France. The path to success has not been smooth. Rumours of rifts, withheld funds and leadership disputes between Bradley Wiggins and Chris Froome look to threaten Team Sky's methodical approach to winning last year. Trying kind to of potentially create just a happy family where everybody's happy and everybody's good and all the rest of it. It's, it'd be a nice place to be, but you ain't going to win anything, really. You've got to have that killer instinct and you've got to, you know, have a real edge to, to what you do if you want to really compete and, and win. And um, so I think that's, that's what you need, you know. The one thing you can't coach is that, uh, that aspect when an established rider or an established athlete is looking over their shoulder because there's somebody coming up pretty quick behind them. And that drive that it gives them, you know, when you've got a hungry young girl or guy behind coming up and pushing them for their spot, that you can't coach. An analogy, that may be, but when Froome broke away from leader Wiggins at the 2012 Tour, it could have been calamitous. With a team of several potential victors, Brailsford needs to carefully balance winning potential and mental strength when choosing a race leader. You can identify talent and, and, and have a good go at identifying the headroom, if you like, of, of, of a performer. And then the question is, can you help somebody and, and support somebody to achieve that, you know, to, to travel through that headroom and, and get to their optimal performance. But the trick is then to take that individual and find out what's going to unlock that talent and allow him to move forward and give him the, the, the belief systems, which is so important in any sport, the confidence, the self-belief to be able to really step up and move on. And I think that's the, that's the challenge of it all, isn't it? You know? Despite six Grand Tour podiums in three years and 35 wins last season, Sky is still not all conquering. The team have failed to achieve a win in the World Tour Spring Classics, registering only one podium for the races in 2013. Although Ian Standard's victory at the recent Omlop Het Newsblad shows that the potential is there. We, we tried very hard in the Classics, we tried different approaches and, and we haven't managed to, uh, to pull one off yet. But it's not without the ones trying. And, and, um, you know, I still think we'd, we'd very, very much like to try and, you know, take one of those, uh, get, get on the top step of the podium in one of those races, for sure. Our approach to Grand Tours um, is that we, 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 you know, we very much analyse the demands of the event, we figure out what it's going to take and then we come back to basics and, and, and we put in plans to, to make sure we can get there. Whereas I think in the one day races, they're more underpredictable, you know, they are, they are very, very challenging to win. Um, but we'll keep on trying, you know, and, and, and the, the, the desire is still there. But as of yet, you know, it hasn't quite come off. But, uh, you know, in sport, if you keep knocking on the door long enough, eventually it opens, is my experience. If his past approach of making meticulous adjustments to everything from the riders' pillows to their cleaning habits is anything to go by, Brailsford's way of remedying the absence of the classics from his team's impressive palmarès Maybe less of a case of waiting for the door to open and more like finding another way around it.